What's going on Faded Culture? My name is Adrian Barone and we're back with another tutorial. Today we got a huge transformation. I'm gonna show y'all how I took my boy Jesse from this to this in less than five minutes. And before we get started guys, I wanted to mention that we are doing our first in-person seminar at Fort Worth, September 18th. There is gonna be a link down below to get your tickets. So be quick guys, cause there is limited amount of seats. With that said guys, let's jump right into the tutorial. How should I even begin this <laughs> Really excited for that in-person seminar, guys. Again, get your tickets quick because there is limited amount of seats. And all the steps to this tutorial, guys, will be in the description down below. As you can see, guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and start debulking as much as I can. I'm gonna use my thumb to help the tension with the comb to begin parting the top to the sides. And the more damp the hair is, the easier it is gonna be for you to section. I know I want about four fingers of length up on top, so I'm roughly gonna cut towards that. Use your hair clips, guys, to better organize yourself when it comes to longer hair. I'm gonna continue that horseshoe connection. And now I'm gonna start debulking the sides, just working in about four sections. Again, this is just a rough debulk, guys, just to get as much hair out the way as possible. And yes, I am using my Faded Culture B2s coming very, very soon. Here I'm gonna start drying that side hair so I can begin the debulking process with the clipper now using my number two guard lever completely open. As you can see, I'm using my comb to help push the hair into the clipper. Now with no guard lever completely closed, we're gonna begin our first guideline at that temple peak area. And yes, my clippers are zero gap, guys. There is a video in the description on how we zero gap our clippers. For our next guideline, we're gonna open up the lever completely, still no guard, and bring it up about a finger's width. Just make sure that your guidelines run parallel to one another so that way your fade is consistent throughout. Continuing the process with my number one guard lever still completely open. As you can see, I'm cleaning out the side, but I can't really see the guideline that it's creating, so I'm gonna continue to debulk using clipper over comb. It's very, very important that you debulk as much as possible in order to see those guidelines, guys. So now that I can see a little bit better, I'm gonna continue the fading process using my one and a half guard. The lever is gonna stay in that open position. Now with my number two guard, just repeat that same process. Take it up about a finger's width. Make sure that you are flicking out as you reach that parietal ridge, just to ensure that you're not digging in and starting creating a faux hawk look. The last guard that I will be using is the number three. Just continue that process, be nice and easy with the wrist. And to finish connecting the sides to the top, I'm gonna use thinning shears over comb technique. This is just gonna remove some of that weight that we have left. By now you should have two guidelines, the first one that we created with the lever closed and second that we created with the lever open. We're gonna start with that one and work our way down. Using my half guard, I'm gonna close the lever just slightly, putting it into that 3 fourths position. It's basically somewhere in between halfway and fully open. And take that up about a quarter inch, guys. And you will notice that this step is creating a faint line right above it, but do not take it up any higher as we will come back right now with the one guard and finish blending out the line. So like I mentioned guys, now I have my number one guard, the lever is gonna stay in that 3 fourths position and we're gonna attack that faint line. And guys, don't get stuck on the lever position, just use it as a rule of thumb somewhere to start from. If you feel that you need to close it or open it slightly to continue the process, go ahead and do so. As for the last line, it's gonna be a three step process. We're gonna start with the lever completely closed, take that up about a quarter inch. Second, we're gonna open it up halfway. And finally, we're gonna open up the lever all the way. And notice how I'm really digging in there with just the corner of the clipper. It's just to ensure that I don't take the fade up any higher than I need to. Go ahead and repeat that same three step process guys on the other side of the head. Now with my half guard, I'm gonna do any touch up work and this is gonna be lever play. This is gonna vary from one side of the head to another. So just take a step back, view him from the mirror or from afar so you can get a broader view and go ahead and start that detail work. 
Now using my trimmer in a forward position to get a lot closer to the scalp. And you'll see why right now as I remove that bottom hair, it's going to leave a faint line which is going to be used as a guideline for our electric shaver. Now we know exactly how high up to take that electric shaver. And you're going to notice as I approach that faint line how I turn my electric shaver around and use it as if it was a pair of clippers, mainly using the corner of the shaver just to finish blending. Always ask your client what they want to do with their facial hair guys. And please let me know down in the comments guys how y'all like these short form tutorials. I really just want to get straight to the point and help y'all out as much as possible. As for the top guys, we're going to begin by sectioning it from the middle. And this is going to help us connect the top to the sides cutting off any overhang. You're going to see from right here my knuckles are basically touching the scalp. And as I reach the front towards the bangs I start to pull out a bit. This is just so we can leave more length in the front so when we add volume and style it, it looks very nice. And I do apologize guys, I tried to keep this tutorial under 5 minutes for y'all but obviously there's just way too much going on but if you made it this far guys, please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. Now to begin with my profile section, always grab a small section of what you previously cut as a guide with the new section guys. And you're going to see that I'm grabbing that small section from the profile as my guide and just working my way back. It's a very simple technique guys. I really, I highly recommend you use profile sections. Now clipping it out the way to begin the edge up. Always starting from the middle then work your way to one side. And before you start the opposite side, it's very important that you recalibrate from the middle to make sure that you are coming in a straight line. Now using my Faded Culture Matte Turkish Razor to begin the razor work. Snapping the ends off my blade just to insert it that much easier. And you could find these at FadedCulture.co guys, link down below. Applying a little bit of my Faded Culture Shave Gel which is dropping very very soon. And after that, I always apply a little bit of water just to help prolong that life of the shave gel. Always begin your razor work by shaving with the grain and then shave against the grain using your opposite hand to help stretch out that skin to ensure a softer shave. Again guys, Faded Culture products will be dropping very, very soon. I'm very hyped about these. Here I'm using my matte clay. And now with your blow dryer, use high heat and high speed to really work that product in there guys. As you can see, I'm adding a lot of volume towards the front, apply a little bit of hairspray and then hit it with that cool shot to really close that cuticle and lock the hair in place. Applying a little bit of hair enhancements to finish it off. And here's the before and after guys. I really hope y'all enjoyed these short tutorials guys, getting straight to the point. I hope y'all took something new from it. Let me know down in the comments below how y'all like these guys. Again, thank y'all so much for tuning in to yet another tutorial. My name is Adrian Barone and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.